Caitlin Clark. That's a name that you probably hear about quite a bit. She's the reigning two-time consensus National Player of the Year for the NCAA. She's the lady who broke the NCAA's all-time career field goal record. Also is the holder of the NCAA's all-time uh, leading scorer. She also just finished up her first year in the WNBA where she won the Rookie of the Year and made the All-WNBA team. And so much more. The accolades go on and on and on and on. But I want to go back, back, way back into time to uh, November the 25th, 2020. Now, this is the time when Caitlin Clark was just another five-star freshman ready to make her mark on the game of women's basketball. And boy, was she a part of a very talented class that had the likes of Paige Beckers, Angel Reese, Cameron Brink, Camilla Cardoso, Diamond Johnson, and others. But there was something special about Caitlin. And on November the 25th, 2020, the nation, well, at least the ones who are watching, which was a small amount of people, <laughs> got a first glance at the girl who would go on to transform the way that some see the game of women's basketball. So the game was at home at Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa, and there was basically nobody in attendance uh, due to COVID restrictions. Yes, back in 2020, that was when that was when we were dealing with COVID. So yeah, that's a that was a thing. Definitely a thing. Uh, Iowa was taking on the University of Northern Iowa, that is a in-state rival um, for the Hawkeyes. They play them pretty regularly, and it's a team that could give them problems every now and then. Uh, starting for the Hawkeyes, you had junior Monica Sanano, sophomores McKenna Warnock, Gabby Marshall, and Kate Martin. Yes, they are not in the same year as Caitlin Clark. They were sophomores when Caitlin Clark was a freshman. Um, and this this lineup really was the lineup that kind of helped them get to the championship game a couple years ago. Like, definitely is a legendary lineup that stayed together uh, for quite a long time. Um, and, you know, rounding out that starting five, you had the, the lone young freshman. And boy, did Caitlin Clark introduce herself in that first game. She wound up leading everybody in scoring when she dropped 27 points in her first game ever as a Iowa Hawkeye. She was very efficient from the field as well, finishing with 10, uh, finishing, um, uh, shooting 10 of 17 from the field. Also, she would go 50% from the three point line as well. Um, and you know, she would finish up, finish the game with eight rebounds, four assists and three steals. Like, man, what a debut. What a debut for Caitlin Clark. And guys, she would she wouldn't she wasn't stopping there. This was just her introduction. She was just getting started. She would follow up that performance with a uh, awesome thirty point um, game against Drake. After that, twenty three points against Wisconsin, thirty four points against Iowa State, thirty five points against Michigan State. Again, this is right after. So twenty seven, then thirty then 23, then 34, then 35. Back to back to back to back. And then after she hit, after she scored 35 points uh, against Michigan State, she got her first triple-double against Western Illinois when she dropped 13 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists. She would wrap up that first season averaging 26.6 points a game and shooting 40% from the three-point line. That was just the start of what we what would uh, become the the Iowa legend that is Caitlin Clark. I wanted to share that with you because I thought it was kind of cool, you know, to celebrate today, the uh, November the 25th, 2024. You got to talk about what happened four years ago because it's, it's kind of cool. I mean, or five years ago, actually. Uh, it's kind of cool to, to just be like, man, the start, the start, it was really the start of something new. It really was. Now guys, I would love to do more of these sort of like remember when or, or, um, sort of like where we take a look at what happened years and years ago around 
one or more of our favorite players. Um, you know, uh, there is so much history when it comes to women's basketball where, you know, there's a lot of days where like on this day, X, Y, Z happened. And, and uh, if y'all are interested in hearing more about this stuff, like I would love to cover it. Just let me know in the comments below. Uh, do you all want more of on this day uh, where we talk about various players and also various coaches? Because there's a lot of history, a lot of history, a lot of history in the game of women's basketball. And uh, y'all know me. Y'all know I love some history, even though this isn't that old of history. It's still history, though. Still counts, kind of. Kind of counts a little bit. Anyway, uh, let me know what y'all thought in the comments below. If y'all uh, like this sort of rewind let me know by hitting that like button. Also subscribe to the channel. I make content all about women's basketball. So if that is your thing, make sure to meet me right here every single day as we talk about the games that we love. Until next time, guys, I will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.